Have you ever found yourself at a junction, faced with a decision that didn't seem to make sense? Perhaps you've heard a small voice nudging you in a confusing direction. I've been there countless times. Through these experiences, I've noticed a pattern, a sort of test. It's not like the tests you study for. It's more like how God tests our faith, preparing us for changes in our reality that we can't yet understand. Let's discuss a difficult truth. Sometimes obedience comes before comprehension. Yes, you heard correctly. It's natural to want all the facts before proceeding. But in our journey with God, it doesn't always work that way. It's akin to following a map without knowing the destination, daunting yet transformative. Consider Abraham's story a beacon of faith and trust. We know how he stepped into the unknown, guided solely by his faith. Then came the ultimate test, sacrificing his son Isaac. This part of the story vividly demonstrates obedience without understanding. The weight of what he was asked to do is immense, yet Abraham didn't hesitate. This brings us back to our own experiences, where sometimes we're called to move forward with blindfolded trust. It's not recklessness, but a deep belief in a plan, even when it's unclear. Navigating life's uncertainties with faith doesn't mean we won't have doubts or fears. Like Abraham, it means we're willing to step forward, trusting that the path will reveal itself in time. Let's delve into this journey of faith where obedience comes before understanding. These tests of faith could be the key to unlocking our true potential. As we explore this profound journey of faith, Abraham's story in Genesis 22 is particularly moving. His unwavering obedience speaks volumes, especially in today's world, where doubt often overshadows faith. Imagine Abraham promised descendants as numerous as the stars, now facing a command that seems to threaten this promise. What's striking is Abraham's immediate response. No bargaining, no delay. Early the next morning, he sets out with his son Isaac, showing us what faith in action truly looks like. It's not passive, it's active, even when it's difficult. As they journey, Isaac's innocent question pierces the heart. Where is the lamb? Abraham's reply reflects his belief in God's provision, even in challenging times. This faith isn't blind. It's rooted in a relationship with God, knowing he keeps his promises. When Abraham faces the ultimate test with Isaac on the altar, he doesn't hesitate. As Abraham is about to complete the act of obedience, an angel of the Lord intervenes, commanding him not to harm his son. This pause in the story is significant, showing divine intervention that stops the sacrifice. The angel acknowledges Abraham's faith and the fact that he was willing to offer his son. Then, miraculously, Abraham spots a ram caught in a thicket, which he offers as a sacrifice instead of his son. This moment brings relief and gratitude, highlighting a key theme, God's faithfulness to provide. Abraham's story isn't just about his faith. It also emphasizes God's unwavering commitment to his people. Reflecting on this, we see that Abraham's journey wasn't just about obedience. It was also about understanding the character of God. His faith was grounded in the belief that God is good, he provides, and his promises are true. This story challenges us to think about our own journey of faith. Are we ready to trust God even when his plans are unclear and our circumstances seem overwhelming? As we continue on our journey, let's remember the core of Abraham's faith, obedience before understanding, trust in God's provision, and the belief that our faith will be rewarded. Sometimes, having faith means taking the first step even when we can't see the whole path ahead. Let's follow in Abraham's footsteps, trusting in the one who leads us, believing in his promises, and always remembering that God himself will provide what we need. Now, let's go deeper into this journey of faith with the wisdom from Hebrews 11, verse 19. Abraham believed that even if Isaac died, God could bring him back to life. In a way, Abraham did receive his son back from the dead. This verse 
isn't just a small detail in Abraham's story. It reveals his profound trust in God's power over life and death. Imagine having that level of trust, believing not just in what God does, but in who he is, a God of resurrection and life. This changes how we see our own challenges, doesn't it? The obstacles, the deep valleys, they're not just roadblocks. They're opportunities for our faith to grow stronger, just as gold is purified in fire. Just as gold is purified in fire through trials. It's not easy, and it might feel like we're being asked to give up things we hold dear. But it's in those moments of clinging to our faith that God's promises shine the brightest. Consider this, when Abraham looked up and saw the ram caught in the thicket, wasn't it a clear example of God providing? That's why Abraham named the place the Lord will provide. And even today, it said that on the mountain of the Lord, provision will be made Genesis 22, verse 14. It wasn't just about giving a ram instead of Isaac. It showed that God sees our needs and meets them, often in unexpected ways. Now. Let's bring it closer to home. Our faith journeys are filled with moments where we're asked to trust without seeing the whole picture. Maybe you're in one of those moments right now, standing at the edge of the unknown, unsure where your next step will lead. Remember Abraham and remember the God who called him friend. Remember the God who provided a ram and who raised Jesus from the dead. That same God is with you, whispering, trust me. So when your faith is tested, when you feel like you're walking through fire or facing giant challenges, stand firm, stay steady, and let's keep running with perseverance the race set before us, keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus, who is the beginning and the end of our faith journey. This race isn't just about enduring. It's about staying focused on the foundation of our faith, Jesus. He endured the cross and conquered death, showing us that resurrection isn't just a one-time event, but a living hope that sustains us through every trial. Take heart, dear friend. Your faith, though tested, will not just endure. It will triumph. In the hands of our God, trials become the very soil from which faith grows stronger, deeper, and more resilient. Let's journey together, believing in a God who transforms graves into gardens, who brings life from death, and who promises that in him, we will emerge as purified, sanctified, and wholly surrendered gold. This is the victory of faith, the triumph of believing in a God of resurrection, direction, victory, and endless love. In Deuteronomy 29 verse 29, we're given a nudge that feels both comforting and challenging. The scripture tells us, the secret things belong to the Lord our God, but the things revealed belong to us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. It's like finding a hidden treasure in your backyard, but being told that some of it isn't yours to open. You're curious, maybe even frustrated, because who doesn't want to unlock all the secrets of the universe, or at least the ones about their own life? But here's where the comfort comes in. This verse gently reminds us that it's okay not to know everything. In our age of information overload, admitting that feels like a revolutionary act. We're so accustomed to finding answers quickly through Google that not being able to find one can make us uneasy. But there's a deep peace in accepting that some mysteries are beyond our understanding, reserved for God alone. It's a relief, isn't it? The pressure to have all the answers fades away when we realize that some things are just beyond human capabilities. Then comes the challenge. Trusting when we don't have all the pieces of the puzzle can feel like walking through a dark room. We're bound to bump into something, but the text isn't asking for blind faith. It's inviting us to trust in the character of the one who has the map. God's consistent faithfulness Unwavering love and justice are the foundation of our trust, not our ability to figure out his plans. Let's discuss those moments when we cry out, why God? Perhaps you're in that place right now, searching the heavens for a sign or an answer, feeling like you're met with silence. In those times, this verse reminds us that trust isn't just suggested, it's essential. 
It's about believing that even when we feel alone and the storms of life rage, God is there whispering, I've got you. Trusting doesn't mean ignoring the pain or the questions. It means bringing them to God, wrestling with them, and deepening our relationship with Him. It's about acknowledging our lack of understanding while believing in God's goodness, His presence with us, and His plan. Imagine the freedom in letting go of the need to know why things happen as they do. It's like releasing a hell breath. This doesn't mean we stop seeking answers or growing. It means recognizing our limits and God's boundlessness. We do our part with what's been revealed to us and entrust the rest to God. So if you're grappling with the unknown, remember Deuteronomy 29 verse 29. Let it be a beacon of hope reminding you to trust the journey. The secret things belong to God and that's where they should stay. Meanwhile, we have this beautiful, challenging life with enough revealed truths to guide us, enough mystery to keep us in awe, and enough grace to cover us every step of the way. Reflecting on Romans 8 verse 28 is like finding a compass in a dense forest. It whispers to us even when the path isn't clear, you're headed in the right direction. It's God's way of saying, trust me, I've got the map tailored just for you with all the twists and turns of your life in mind. This verse is a reminder that even when we're lost in confusion or facing big problems, every path we walk has a purpose, especially for those who have chosen to follow God. But here's the thing, trusting God isn't always about having all the answers or seeing the whole journey laid out in front of us. It's more about knowing who's guiding us. Imagine you're on a road trip with no GPS signal, but your best friend, who's an expert navigator, is in the passenger seat. You'd feel more at ease, right? That's the kind of trust Romans 8 verse 28 invites us to have in God. It's acknowledging that even when we have no clue where we're going, God does, and that's enough. This verse also addresses our tendency to want to control everything. We've all been there, thinking we can outsmart the challenges, relying on our own wisdom to get through. But this message makes it clear that our understanding has limits. It's like trying to read a book in the dark. It just won't work without light. Consider Abraham's story. Talk about a test of trust being asked to sacrifice his son, the very promise God had given him. It seems counterintuitive to us, yet Abraham's willingness to obey without all the details highlights a faith that trusts in God's character above clear circumstances. This is the kind of faith Romans 8 verse 28 calls us to, a faith that believes in the good, even when it's not obvious. So what does all this mean for us? It means that when life throws curveballs, when plans fall apart, and when the road ahead seems unclear, our response can be one of trust, not blind trust, but a trust rooted in the history of a God who has never let us down. It's a trust that says, even though I can't see where this road leads, I know who's driving. With this trust, we find peace, knowing that all things and even the detours and dead ends are working together for our good. Let us pray in times of uncertainty and change. It is natural to seek guidance, strength, and assurance from a higher power. God's testing often precedes significant shifts in our reality challenging us to grow, trust, and deepen our faith. Through powerful prayers, we can seek divine guidance, wisdom, and strength as we navigate these testing periods and prepare for the transformations ahead. Below are heartfelt prayers for those undergoing God's testing before their reality shifts. Almighty God, when the winds of uncertainty blow and the ground beneath us feels unsteady, grant us strength. Strengthen our resolve to face the trials before us with courage and faith. Help us to trust in your unfailing love and provision, knowing that you are with us through every trial and tribulation. May your strength sustain us as we navigate the challenges ahead. And may we emerge from this testing period stronger and more resilient than before. Amen. Heavenly Father, in times of testing, 
When the path ahead is unclear and decisions weigh heavily upon us, grant us wisdom and discernment. Open our hearts and minds to your guidance and direction that we may make choices that align with your will and purpose for our lives. Give us clarity of thought and insight to see beyond the present circumstances, trusting in your divine plan for our future. May your wisdom light our way through the darkness of uncertainty, guiding us to paths of righteousness and blessing. Amen. O Lord, in times of testing, when doubts and fears assail us, strengthen our faith and trust in you. Help us to believe in your promises and hold fast to your word, knowing that you are faithful and true. Increase our faith, O God, that we may walk confidently through the valley of testing, trusting in your steadfast love to see us through. Give us the courage to surrender our doubts and fears into your hands, trusting that you will work all things together for our good. Amen. Gracious God, when the journey seems long and the road ahead is filled with obstacles, grant us patience and perseverance. Teach us to wait upon you with hopeful hearts, knowing that you are always at work behind the scenes, orchestrating your plans for our lives. Give us the strength to endure the trials of testing with grace and resilience, knowing that through patience and perseverance, we will inherit your promises. May we not grow weary in doing good, but press on toward the prize that awaits us. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus, in times of testing, when our own desires and ambitions conflict with your will, for our lives, grant us the grace to surrender and submit to your divine authority. Help us to let go of our own plans and agendas, yielding our hearts and lives completely to your control. Teach us to trust in your sovereignty, knowing that your ways are higher than our ways and your thoughts than our thoughts. May we humble ourselves before you, O God, and submit to your will with joy and obedience. Amen. The Holy Spirit, when the fires of refinement burn hot and the old ways must be left behind, grant us the grace to embrace transformation and growth. Purify our hearts and minds, O God, that we may be conformed to the image of Christ, our Savior. Break down the walls of pride and self-reliance within us and mold us into vessels of your grace and mercy. May the testing we endure produce in us perseverance, character, and hope, leading to a deeper intimacy with you. Amen. Eternal God, the darkness threatens to overwhelm us and despair whispers lies into our hearts filling us with hope and assurance. Remind us, O Lord, that you are the God of all comfort, who promises to never leave us nor forsake us. Lift our eyes to behold the light of your presence shining in the midst of our trials, and grant us the peace that surpasses all understanding. May our hope in you be an anchor for our souls, steadfast and sure, as we await the dawn of a new day. Amen. Amen. God invites us to draw near to him in prayer, seeking his strength, wisdom, and guidance. Through heartfelt prayers, we can surrender our fears and doubts, trusting in God's faithfulness to see us through every trial and tribulation. May these powerful prayers serve as a source of comfort, encouragement, and hope for those undergoing God's testing before their reality shifts. Amen. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime we post a new video. God bless you. Amen.